Are you experiencing some grief? Then this video is for you. Welcome to the channel everyone, my name is Fola and here on Deep Mind Squared we talk all things bridging mental wellness and spirituality for nurses. This topic of grief I think is a very important one to have over the last couple of years. I know for myself and seeing it in the world there's been a lot of loss and it's a heaviness when we're going through so much loss and it seems like it's everywhere, you just can't get away from it. And I think this loss is happening for us on like this internal uh, piece of a lot of our identity and the things that we have attached ourselves to or identified ourselves as, especially being a nurse, that that's coming up to the surface. And then we also have the grief and the loss around external experiences such as relationships and uh, job security, financial security, whatever the thing might be. And then there's also the loss of literally like people dying, whether it's patients and people that we're caring for or our close loved ones and family and friends. So this video is just to encourage you and to share a bit of Reiki energy um, as you go into letting go of whatever other pieces maybe need to be released right now. I know for myself, I'm going through this transition still and just recently actually, had to let go of some other important things, or at least things that I felt I held on to <laughs> for quite a while. And that's with the concept of like going on to complete some of my graduate studies. Um, I've been taking some courses uh, in that area, but I finally decided just the other day that it's like time to just let go of that. I don't know what that's gonna look like in the future. I kind of feel like I'll be returning back to it, but right now, just at this moment in my life, it's like I've been attached to this identity of this program and there's something that needs to be released. So just acknowledging that these heavy emotions can come up. I know for myself, there was a lot of sadness and a loss uh, taking place, even though it's like there, there was no tangible thing there. Uh, and it seems lighter to me now to be able to just let go of that. So this Reiki session, this energy work will be to support you to bring whatever needs to come up into your awareness and to just invite you to release whatever that might be so that you can feel that sense of lightness and just trust that things are happening exactly the way they need to. And within this process of like death or transition, we get to bring new amazing things into our lives. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're updated on future video releases. And we'll get right into the beautiful Reiki energy work. So the Reiki energy is flowing to you now. You can find yourself in a comfortable spot for the next few minutes. Just allowing yourself to receive whatever it is that might be coming your way and knowing that there is no difference on when you're watching this video or where you're watching this video from that that universal healing energy which is what reiki stands for is basically able to surpass all time and space and allowing yourself just to receive that beautiful blessing and to release whatever needs to be let go of around any grief any sadness in the heart space. I invite you even as you go through the session to imagine any of that grief, leaving your heart, leaving your body, and acknowledging it, having some compassion. It's okay that maybe sometimes there's feelings of sadness or even a bit of anger of why did I hold on to that? I know it wasn't good for me. That relationship maybe wasn't ideal or that job but it's like we still have our identity attached so we're just gonna do a little bit of this healing to support you with that letting go I'm calling in those angels Archangel Raphael especially to support with that healing Archangel Michael to cut away from any of the past where your identity has been caught up and where your sadness and sorrow still sits.
maybe you're grieving the old way in which our life has been. Our society has been built on these certain structures and forms that seem to be collapsing. And that can be hard to let go of that, especially when it's something that we've known for so long, like basically our whole lives. Now we are being asked to, from that rubble of destruction and that transition of the loss, to create something new, a new structure, a new form, and something that's going to take on a new way or like a new reality of form and structure. Something that we might not have ever even known to have existed before. So this is how our imagination can play such an amazing role for our future. Just imagining that sadness just melting away from your body, from your heart. Just because we let go of sadness doesn't mean we devalue all those past experiences. We don't forget about them. It's not like they become meaningless. It's just that they start to take a new form within our body, within our memory. It's like what beautiful memories can you bring forward? from some of that loss. Thinking back to old relationships, what are the positives? However big or small that those might be. What laughter was had in those workplaces or with those patients, with those people that you cared for. Bring to memory just some of these nice, light, joyful moments. These memories 
that are also a part of you, but they don't mean they're your whole identity. They're just experiences. And that's really what life is. It's just one big experience. Be open to receiving those experiences that are waiting for you in 2022 and beyond. Just thanking yourself for taking this time to sit and receive, to let go. And I wish you all the best as you go through the rest of this journey of life. And feel free to check out the other videos on the channel where you can move through different Reiki sessions and look at other forms of healing for your mind and your body and your soul. So I look forward to seeing you all in another video. So take care.